today we're going to carry on painting the dwarves, so we're going to paint Gandalf and Colin. Um, I'm slightly hampered because my cat's decided she wants to sit on my lap as I paint. Bless her. But uh, we're just going to paint uh, these two today, see how we get on. Okay, so <coughs> I'm going to paint Colin first, and he's mainly got a blue coat, so we're just going to undercoat that in blue. Let's move Gandalf up away. And I'm just going to use the craggy blue, but darken it just a bit with a bad and black. undercoating Gandalf. I mean he's pretty much the grey we need so I'm just going to use darken a grey a bit just to pick out because then it's a bit of dry brushing and I'm also going to paint his uh, <coughs> sort of inner clothing and mix a bit of blue with the grey just to give it you know make it look a bit different. We don't want all grey dry and we'll come back. Okay so while Colin's drying we're going to paint Gandalf and I'm just I've used a Dawnstone but I've also mixed some uh, Vallejo dark rubber dark rubber in there which is quite a nice darkening uh, agent. So what we're going to do is paint them all over really it's a bit of a drab old character. Okay, so Gandalf's dry. So what we're going to do now is some liberal dry brushing of white all over him, and then we can pick out his other parts. So let's get some white on a brush. Uh, stubby front, let's see if I can find a better brush. detail while I've got the brush going uh, fine. There we go. So I'm going to paint Gandalf's staff in line oxide, which is a nice wood brown. In Mornfang Brown, which is a slightly lighter brown, I'm going to pick out his belt. Okay, 
just going to pick out his scarf in blue. Gandalf strain. I'm going to do some paint uh, Thorin's shoulders in black. Side. So it's going to do detail on Owen's belt. I'm just going to pick that out in gold. It's got a few belt buckles. So Thorin's pretty much dry, so I'm just going to dry brush a little bit of detail onto his boots, make them look a bit warm, dry brush them all over, see if we can go from his scarf, okay, so they're just about done, so I'm going to put them together. Put some grass on the base and then we'll come back and see what they look like. Okay, so Gandalf is done. Came out really nicely. You shall not pass. No, it's a different one, isn't it? Uh, and then Thorin. Thorin. Again, really nice little model. Um, so I'm pretty happy how both of those came out. Well, I've since finished the dwarves, so let's introduce them. Uh, we start with Thorin, Poken Shield. And he came out really nicely. And then we have Bilbo. It's a difficult one to paint because he's so small. And then we have Gandalf. One of my favourite Gandalf figures is. I've got a few Gandalfs and I really like this one. Then we have uh, Balin. Great character in the film. I think they've sort of captured him nicely. I've seen some where they've painted lots of uh, different designs on the coat, but I don't think my hand's up for that. I've got a little bit of design on it. And then we have Dwaylin. I think it's his brother. Again, great character. Nice pose. Then Feely. Um, 
I once made a blue tack grommet for Feely, the actor, the one, the actor that played him at a convention many years ago when he was in Young Hercules, I think. And there's Keely. Good one, that I like that. And then Nori. Not one of the better known dwarves. And then Ori, who I hated in the film. I thought I hate those sort of comic relief style characters. Dory. Great likeness, that of Dari. Very polite, very polite dwarf. And then Biffa. I don't remember really saying much. I don't know whether he spoke in the film. And then Bofa, which I think was my favourite dwarf of all of them. Um, really well played. And then Bomba. Right. It was a bit of a comic relief, but a bit of a, an Oblix type character. And then Owen or Oin. And then Glowin or Gloin, who I think is um, uh, the dwarf in Lord of the Rings, Gimli's father. Again, really nicely sculpted. So that's all the uh, 15 members of uh, Thorin's uh, company. Um, I think this is a brilliant, brilliant set of figures. Just to let you see the box again, it's this one. They did them a bit, a bit more professionally than me on the front. Um, yeah, I heartily recommend it. I think it's a, a good set. So it's a great set. I'm glad that I got them and it will go with my Lord of the Rings ones. So thanks for watching and uh, if you uh, want to see more of these style videos please like and subscribe. Any comments down below are welcomed and thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye.